In order to simulate decompression-driven vesiculation, our daysite samples were quenched at a final pressure of 68 MPA with 4.2 weight percent dissolve H2O to simulate a shallow reservoir. Once each sample was heated beyond its glass transition temperature, the melt was able to relax from its high pressure configuration to atmospheric conditions, allowing degassing to occur. Instead of measuring uniaxial deformation or compression, we utilized the parallel, our parallel plate viscometer to measure vertical expansion of the samples.